it is a lot of hard work, you know, this is something really big to achieve. You know, one day I'll hopefully be there, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 22 years old, still thinking if I should go back to school, never liked it in the first place. But I give you guys a lot of props and a lot of respect because you guys do, um, you know, all the hard work I've seen, you know, one of my friends, a good friend of mine, Jen, Den uh, Jennifer Denipal, you know, I've seen her working on a lot of her stuff and, you know, still having to take care, take care of the household. You know, so a lot of you women that have are getting your, you know, diplomas today, you know, it's a really great thing. So congratulations to all of you graduates today. And congratulations to all of you parents and family. With that said, we're going to end our performance service. Thank you. Thank you all folks. Thank you.
eventually made friends, but I could not shake the feeling that I did not belong there. I was studying animal science to eventually become a veterinarian. My dreams were shattered when I learned that I could hardly stomach blood. <laughs> I was miserable and going through the motions, and all I really wanted to do was come home, where I knew I fit in. Um, without comfort and belonging, no personal growth can ever really occur. So I followed my heart to leave. I followed my heart by leaving and chose happiness and belonging. I came back home and started fresh here at Northern New Mexico College. I was immediately overwhelmed by all of the support that I received from the advising and registrar's office. They worked very hard to register and enroll me a week into the second semester of my freshman year. Immediately, I noticed that the atmosphere here was different. People greeted me in classes, my instructors knew my name, <laughs> That was the complete opposite of Baylor School. Thank you, Michelle, and congratulations on your academic accomplishments. At this time, I would like to introduce Chase Harrison, who will be graduating with his bachelor's in engineering in Information Engineering Technology. First and foremost, I want to thank Dr. Cricino and faculty here for giving me the opportunity to stand here and give this speech. Uh, just remember, it's never too late to pursue your education. I came here around four years ago from Denver on a leap of faith. At the time, I was dating my wife and she asked me to move to Northern New Mexico. I really didn't know much about New Mexico and what it offered, but I just knew I really like green chili. <laughs> <clears throat> Once I moved here and settled in, I realized how special this place is. Coming from a larger city, there wasn't really a sense of community. Northern New Mexico is very much in touch with the community and its rich culture. We have farmers markets, weekly concerts, and community that gets together every week for events. You just don't have that anywhere else. Northern New Mexico grabs you and never lets go, and this is where I grow my roots. Well, we did it, guys. there whenever I needed it, even when I thought I didn't need it. Thank you, Chase, and our best wishes for a successful career in engineering. It is my honor to introduce our keynote speaker for today, Congressman Ben Ray Lujan. Congressman ben, ben Ray Lujan is a Democratic U.S. representative for New Mexico 3rd Congressional District. Congressman Lujan was raised in Nam Bay and currently divides his time between Washington, D.C. and New Mexico. But I've had the honor of serving in the United States House of Representatives sitting across the table from the President of the United States of America and helping educate him about a and what they are and why we got to defend them. Now, you want to talk about having to explain a complex, a complex world that we live in with all the trials that are taking place around the world. Understanding how Asetias work Maybe provide some solutions out there, right? Now, I want to close with this. Another author that's a big, uh, was a big influence in my life growing up. His name's Robert Fulbright, and he wrote this book called "All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten." Now, the reason this matters to me is because the golden rule matters. Little things matter. Details matter. But sometimes the most complex things in life can be solved with these simple steps. All I really need to know about how to live and what to do and how to be, I learned in kindergarten. Wisdom was not at the top of the graduate school.
school mountain, but they're in the sand pile at school. These are the themes that I learned. Share everything. Play fair. Here's a good one. Don't hit people. Put things back where you found them. How many times have you been told that? Clean up your own mess. Don't take things that aren't yours. Say you're sorry when you hurt somebody. Wash your hands before you eat. Now this one is just real important. Pay attention. Flush. Warm cookies and cold milk are good for you. I say chile tortillas as well. Live a balanced life, learn some and think some and draw and paint some and sing and dance and play and work every day some. Take a nap every afternoon if you can. When you go out into the world, watch out for traffic, hold hands and stick together. Be aware of wonder. Remember the little seed in the styrofoam cup? The roots go down, the plant goes up and nobody really knows how or why, but we're all kind of like that. Goldfish and hamsters and white mice, even the seed in the styrofoam cup, they all die. So do we. With that, I'll say, don't wait until you lose your loved ones to learn from them, to celebrate them, to tell them how much you love them. As a matter of fact, when you finish today, find that person you love and give them a hug. Because if you don't have them any longer, you'll regret it every day. And then remember the Dick and Jane books? The first word you ever learned, the biggest word of all, look. Everything you need to know is in there somewhere. The golden rule and love and even basic sanitation. Ecology and politics and equality and safe leaving. Take any one of those items and extrapolate it into sophisticated adult terms and apply it to your family your life, your work, the government, or the world. And it holds true and clear and firm. Think what a better world it would be if we all had cookies and milk at about three in the afternoon and lay down with our babies for a nap. Or if the government had a basic policy to always put things back where they found them and to clean up their own mess. true no matter how old you are when you always go out into the world it's best to hold hands and stick together <laughs> felicidades congratulations class of 2017 the future is bright thanks for letting me share a few words with you Exited the stage. Janice Z. Baca, Associate of Applied Science, Allied Health. Barbara Jean Morrison, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, Nursing, Summa Cum Laude, P.T. King. Kevin John Norton, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, Nursing, Cum Laude.
You know, this is a family affair here, and there are a lot of men and women who had a hand in, in this. Wherever my life may take me, I will use my knowledge, experience, and skills. I will respect the rights, opinions, culture, and dignity of all peoples. I will maintain my ambassador for my alma mater, and I will seek to promote its welfare and maintain its reputation. This is my pledge as a graduate of Northern New Mexico College. I graduated summa cum laude. Cum laude what does that mean? With highest honors from the University of Northern Iowa today. But you've been telling me that you had no interest in graduating, <laughs> that you weren't going to come to the ceremony, that I, the big deal was your, your presentation. I know, I know. But then what happened was after I took my final, my last final on Wednesday, May 10th, I went over to the administration building just to see what the story was in case if I wanted to come. And I forgot about how you'd need a gown and all that stuff. Well, the people were so nice. The registrar and the assistant registrar were so nice to me. They know who I was by name, which surprised me. Um, that, And then they said, oh no, come. Here, we can loan you a gown. And they took me back to this room to show me where these, or the, the assistant guy took me, his name's Gerald. He took me back to this room and they had a gown for someone who was five foot two. And then they had a gown for somebody that was really huge. And of course I have gained some weight, but I wasn't as huge as, well, anyway, the two gowns both look kind of silly on me. And then he said, you know, really you're about the same height, height as me. Why don't you... I'll bring my gown tomorrow and you can just wear the gown I got it a few years ago when I graduated. So that's whose gown. I'm wearing Gerald's gown. And then, now the, ta the hat I did get from the supply that they had, but I didn't notice that they didn't have a tassel. But then... But you had a tassel. Then the guy from Mexico, Aldo, he suggested, why don't you just take the tassel? I had another one of these little books. He said, just take the tassel off this book thing here, which I did. And so I was able to look like a proper graduate with the tassel on one side before the ceremony and put over to the other side after this. This is Aldo, and he was the one that made the suggestion to me of putting oh, yeah, the, the, the little tassel. This, this thing as a tassel <laughs> on my hat. It works? <laughs> it works? Okay. It's smaller though than the other. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this was by far the funnest graduation I've ever had. Well, I, no, you know, I have to admit that when I got my ADN, that was kind of fun, but we I didn't do the big school graduation. I just did the nurses had a little pinning ceremony. So I did that. Where and is that? Where was that? It was at some restaurant in, no. in Waterloo. In Waterloo. And Uncle Robert was there. You know, like everybody was there. Solve was there. And we started giggling when we were. Um, when. Uh oh, I'm being distracted with the people walking by. When what? Well, we, start, we started giggling and we were reciting the, the Florence Nightingale Pledge. That was kind of fun. So but this, this is, and that ceremony were yes. kind of in competition. What was special about this one? Well, for one thing, I was very, I was so moved by the dance, the eagle, the spirit dance. No, what was it called? Like, 
the oh wait oh now I, and then I really liked um, I'm impressed with the new president I think he's going to do a really good job um, and even though his speech was the kind of speeches you hear I actually feel like he's somebody that's going to be really making some positive changes here and the teachers I like Ben Ray so Lujan's too. And I like Ben Ray Lujan's talk. I mean, it was so down to earth and and truly inspirational. I thought. Kindergarten. Yes. And did you, did you learn anything in kindergarten? Well, kindergarten was a little scary for me because of Mrs. Shear, Mrs. Scissors. Shears. <laughs> But it's, I did learn some of those things in kindergarten. And both in kindergarten and our mother has given us the message about the importance of naps. And I thought that was kind of nice. Well, congratulations. Thank you, Jim. And Jim so wonderfully came up at the last minute since I, since on, it was just on Wednesday. I think I texted him on Thursday asking if he would come up. Because I started feeling kind of, oh, I know why. I went to the practice. Betsy, I didn't see Betsy here. Well, Betsy had to work. She had to work. Um, I went to the practice on Thursday just so I could see my friend Melissa, who isn't graduating too. And then when I was there, that's when I started thinking, oh, I think I would like to have a family in the audience. And so I texted Jim and he rearranged his schedule and came up, and it really meant a lot to me. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it's borrowed, so I can't have it be too dirty. We can't show this to anybody here. Whoa! 